Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be Tutorial 7C in the Expression 2 series where I'm going over strings, and more specifically chat commands, everybody's favorite. So let's define color, which is going to be a type vector, and we're going to need the run on chat command, which is going to say execute all the um, code in this whenever chat is put into the text box. So if chat click and entity, which is going to say whenever the entity in this um, talks or puts text into the text box, which in this case is going to be the owner. Then we're going to create our local array, which does not have to be defined, and that's going to be composed, and that array is a list of items, by the way. It's going to be composed of what the owner just last said in the text box, and we're going to explode that sentence, or that string, rather, that series of characters, and separate that series of characters and by a space. So it's going to take every word that the owner just said and ev one word is going to be put into one part of this list and it's going to be ordered by which the uh, order of the string was. So say if the first word in that list of strings or list of words is equal to slash high. Then we want to print hello into the chat box. So let's do that and type hi. As you can see it says hello, I'll do it again. Hi, hello. Now if we don't want people seeing that slash hi, you simply put hi chat and a one right here. I don't want to save it, but we do want to update. All right, so let's type slash hi again. And as you can see, there's no high visible in the chat box anymore. Now, if we want to put additional commands, you simply just put an else if statement. And let's say, instead of high, that first word, what if it's equal to color or slash color? And if the second word in that array or that list is equal to red, then we want color to be equal to a vector of 255, 0, which is red. And then we're going to create this command a couple more times as else if statements, because we want a little variety here. And step red will have green, and here we'll have blue, and this one will be random. So to make green, it's 0, 255, 0. To make blue, it's 0, 0, 255. And to make random, well, we do 0 to 255. We'll put randvec. And since this also includes decimal values, we're going to round that to 0 decimal places. And that should be that. So let's get a lamp going. All right get to where you can see it and we're going to wire that up. So we're going to wire RGB to a color and let's type slash high. Well, we get a hello in the text box and we're going to type color red then color blue color green and color random and I'm going to do that a couple more times color random and color random and color blue. And that there you have it. That is text commands for you. It's not too bad as you can see and you can use it in a variety of ways. But next I'll begin to loops and I will catch you then.